Okay, so I have a Denon AVR-S700W. And I have it in the test tone mode right now. And the problem the customer is complaining of is one channel is lower than all of the rest of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and step through this. I have the camera facing forward at this moment. So here we go. Surround left. Surround right. A little bit lower. Front right. Very low. Center. Okay. And front left. Much higher. Compare the front left to the front right. Now he didn't complain about that. He was actually complaining about the surround right volume versus the surround left volume. And there is a difference in the volume level, but I think the bigger problem is the front right and front left volume levels. So let me go ahead and show you the screen. I have this connected to my monitor with an HDMI connection and I can step through the test tones although the camera may not be perfectly aligned but I'll show you the on-screen display listen to that it's changing alright so I have the volume up pretty high and I'm in the test tone mode right now I'm just gonna step through these I want you to listen to them and tell me what you think go ahead and leave me a comment down below front left center front right Surround right, surround left. I think the surround right is much lower than the surround left. And check out the front right. If you listen closely, it's not a steady white noise. There's the front left, it's so much louder. The front right is almost non-existent. Okay, and I noticed another thing. I want the subwoofer to make it quiet because I don't have a subwoofer connected. If I pick this unit up and flex the chassis, the volume levels change. So I'm wondering, is it a pin fitment issue from the digital board to the analog board? Well, I'm going to very carefully take the top off of this unit, trying not to disturb it, and then do some very, very minor flexing inside and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Okay, so I got the unit open, and as soon as I took out the screw that's right back here in the back panel, my audio level came right back. So I've already probed around in here. You can hear the, uh, the level. It's absolutely perfect now. So here is the connector that sends all the audio from the HDMI digital board back to the analog boards. Front left, surround right, center, surround left, front left, surround back right, surround back left. So if I suspect any problem, it's going to be in this connector right here. But I can wiggle it. I get no change whatsoever. Okay, so I've had a really big problem over the years with ground conductors. Now, a lot of these units don't have an integrated ground on the circuit board any longer. They depend on the chassis ground to contain all of the earths, all of the negatives, all of the grounds. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the digital HDMI board so I can get to those two grounds that are down underneath this board. I want to make sure they're nice and tight. Plus, I think I'm going to spray a little deoxid on this connector right here because that is the connector that contains all the audio signals from the digital board over to the analog amplifier board right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off first. Make sure those grounds are tight. We'll move on from there. 
Okay, so I do have the HDMI digital board flipped up and out of the way. And so here are the two screws, and you can see this one right here has a ground lug attached to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it. I'm going to do it three or four times. We'll give it a good snug. Even though this one over here does not have the ground lug attached, I'm going to do the same thing. And then over here and over here are key grounding lugs. Loosen them and tighten them several times. Okay, like I said, I'm going to give this some deoxid on this connector right here. We'll put it together and just ship it back to the customer and hopefully everything is good. Okay, now I'm thinking this unit might be a refurbished unit for either the same problem or a different problem because look what I see here. Someone has cut off these two leads and they brought them up over here and attached them to the bottom of this capacitor right here. This is a 470 microfarad cap at 16 volts. And so it's really hard to see, but if you look down in here, that lead comes from the standby power supply board. This is the board that's on 24-7 when the unit's plugged in and it keeps the microprocessor active so it can see either a power button press or it can see if you hit the remote on button. So I'm thinking this unit might have been sent back at some point for either a no power condition based on what I'm seeing right here or an audio problem. They just shipped it right back out again. So anyhow, I've applied the deoxid over here on this connector right here. I've tightened the ground screws on the circuit board. So unfortunately, to get to this thing, you do have to tear the back panel off of the unit. So there's the standby power supply board, the audio amplifier, relay controls are down in here. So anyhow, let's go ahead and pop the back panel back on it. I'll give it a final test, and then we'll send it back to the customer, hopefully for many more years of use. Okay, well, I got it all back together. So here's surround left, surround right, front right, front left, and center. They're all working great. So I've taken the unit, I've flexed it, I've moved it around, I've bumped it, dropped it. I can't get the audio to cut out. So hopefully just a simple shot of deoxid took care of this unit as well as tightening the ground screws. So once again at this point I want to give a sincere thank you to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or by having me repair your unit like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Once again, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.